These videos are educational in nature and meant to help 21 and over adult smokers switch to a healthier alternative. Welcome back to the channel, folks. I am Matt. Hope you're all doing well. Today, we're gonna check out the Caliburn GK2 Vision. So basically what we have here is a new version of the Caliburn GK2. A Little bit different styling, different materials. But before we dive into it, I would humbly ask all of you to please like, subscribe, and uh, hit that notification bell. And if you want to, leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think about all these different Caliburn versions that are coming out. Obviously, us vape reviewers need as much help and as much love as we can get, so I really appreciate it. Anyway, I think we're ready to go. Let's dive into it. So inside, you will have your device, and there's going to be a pod and coil already pre-installed. You'll get a second coil, a Coco lanyard, and a USB-C cable, and then a user manual, warranty card, all that good stuff. All right, so here is the device. Very nice looking, in my opinion. Yes, it looks like the original GK2, but they now have this plastic PCTG frame that's translucent, and depending on what color you get, that plastic will be different colors as well. Here's this green version that's also very nice looking, I think. You also do have some light features, which will be on this side, and you'll see it through the plastic. We'll get back to that. These panels do not come off, just so you know. All right, panels don't come off. You got a little metal hook here for your lanyard. On the bottom there is your USB-C port. This does have two amp charging, a little bit of venting right there as well, it looks like. And for the body, that's kind of it. Very cool looking design though. I like the gradient look on this silver one. Just looks really nice, definitely fits my style indeed. So up top here is your pod, let's pull that out. And here we have the Caliburn G2 pods, all right? So the same pods that fit in the G2 also fit in the GK2, they fit in the Tenet uh, Coco and the, and the uh, Tenet original, you know, stick device. They fit in this device, the Vision. So these pods fit in a lot of, whoops, fit in a lot of different devices, and they all use the Caliburn G coils. This coil that's pre-installed is the 0.8 ohm. The extra coil you get is the 1.2 ohm. I like the 0.8 ohm the best. The 1.2 ohm is better for a high uh, milligram salt, in my opinion. There's also a 1 ohm in this line that you can purchase separately, but I've used the crap out of these 0.8 ohms over the years. They've been out since the uh, ori original Caliburn G, and uh, I still use them a lot. Probably my most used coil out there. All right, so what I like to do is take some liquid. We're going to use some of this Cafe D from the Gourmet Collection, unsalted line, and I just put one to two drops down the center of the coil there. Get that wicking nice and primed up. Then you want to take your coil, line the flat edge of the coil up with the flat edge on the pod, and then push it all the way down like so. And right here, you do have airflow control, little airflow control wheel. I tend to like it about halfway closed, which is usually somewhere around there. Or so I think maybe there, but uh, obviously you can play with it. Now this is a top fill design and there's a look at the mouthpiece. It's same Caliburn G2 mouthpiece, definitely more comfortable than the original Caliburn G mouthpiece. A little bit on the thick side, but not very wide this way. I've used this a lot and I've gotten used to it top fill and you fill up right inside the red hole right there. Next, let's put our cap back on. And then when you install your pod into the device, you do get a little bit of a vibration and light show. And you could see right there, you have a liquid window on the side. So are you, you are able to see your liquid level inside the pod. And on this one, because it's a very clear plastic, you can see a lot of the innards there as you can see. So batteries obviously on this side, then you got like the chip set over here, your pod right here. And when you vape this, you do get a color show. So it starts at green because that's where my battery's at. My battery was at green, blue to red. Let me turn the lights down or, or my camera settings down actually. And let's do that again. So what I was saying though, it, when you're vaping, the color that it shows up is where your battery is at. That will go from green to blue to red. But when you're done vaping it, you get a little light show. Not very bright as you can see. Definitely looks brighter in uh, normal day-to-day -day use, but it's not very bright under my camera here. Let's try it on my green one here.
You'll see kind of the breathing lights going on. All right, so obviously something that looks brighter in a dimmer room, but uh, I think it looks cool. I'm glad it's not any brighter than that because you can't turn those lights off. So that's pretty much it, guys. It's a new version of the GK2. It's not reinventing the wheel here. We've seen UL doing this a lot. They did it with the Tenet. They've done it with a few others where they're coming out with multiple devices that take the same pods and coils. But you have this new look on these, which I quite like. I like the uh, translucent frame with these metal plates. I just think it looks nice together. 690 milliamp hour battery, if I didn't mention that already. All right, guys, that is it for the up close. Let's go ahead and go up top, vape these, and talk about them a little more. All right, here's the Calibern GK2 Vision from UL. Let's see if my camera will now focus. Yes, it will. Thank you. I might be buying a new camera. Well, there's a version two of this camera that I use that has better autofocus. I might buy at some point. Anyway, well, what we have here is the 0.8 ohm coil, 12 milligram inside. You saw how I set my airflow about halfway. That's where I usually like it. Let's have a bit. Yeah. A medium MTL draw. You can get a loose mouth to long draw with the airflow wide open, and you can cut it down even tighter than I did and get a tighter draw. Airflow control on these pods, while it's not the most user friendly, you got that little wheel down there, but once you figure it out, it's kind of a set it and forget it thing, and it does work well. Now, there's not a lot new to cover here because it's just basically a new version of an already existing device, right? This is the Vision version of the GK2, and and uh, I'm assuming they're calling it Vision because of the translucent plastic you can see inside. A little bit different styling. I think the light feature might be slightly different as well, but I'm not sure. I th thought they said in the literature that the light feature is a little different from the original GK2, which had lights as well, but uh, I'm not sure on that. But besides that, it's very, very similar to the original GK2. Lighter weight, still feels great because you got these metal panels on here, and it vapes the same as the Calibern G2 pods have for a while now. Great break in, you know, the flavor just pops right off the gate. I love their coils, the G series coils. As far as cons go, some people do complain about leaking. I have had that issue with Calibern G coils over the years sometimes. It's usually when I have my airflow fairly tight, I'm chain vaping it, or I'm in a warm environment, all right? And it's never so bad that it's made me want to not use this device. You have to clean it sometimes. You know, it's just, you, you'll see some liquid on the bottom of your pod. You'll see a little bit of liquid down inside there. You clean it up and then you use it again. So, you know, I know a lot of people have mentioned that before. I have experienced that as well, but I don't think it's that big of a deal. At least for me, it hasn't been. Besides that, the only other uh, downside that I found in my extensive G2 pod use is that there are some pods that sometimes when they fit tighter than others, and sometimes when you go to pull the pot up. Let's see if this one does it. Now, you can accidentally pull the cap off instead of uh, the whole pod. Let me know down in the comments if you've experienced that or not. I have found that usually it'll break itself in and it only happens like the first couple times, but I have had a few tight pods in the past. Let's see if it does it on this one. No, that one's not bad. All right, so that's just another nitpicky thing worth mentioning that uh, you know I've found sometimes in the past. Besides all that, it's all good. Now, like I said, not reinventing the wheel. These pods and coils have been out for a while now. It's just a new version of the device, but I think it's well done. It's lightweight, it looks nice, and it's definitely one that I'm gonna use. Very, very good. I will say somebody mentioned in my YouTube short for this uh, the other day that they wish, you know, the Caliburn series had a bigger battery. I agree. I would, you know, there is the Caliburn X, but I would love to see, you know, them come out with some kind of Caliburn XL or whatever that has like a thousand milliamp hour battery, which is what the person said. And I totally agree with them. So that's another wish list thing for Caliburns that I wanted to throw out there. But all in all, there's a reason why the Caliburn series has been one of my most used devices. And that's because I just love the performance on it. And this thing is no exception. So I think that's it, guys. I hope this review is helpful for all of you out there. That about wraps it up. Until next time, thanks for watching.